Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about updating the firmware on a QNAP NAS. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to the products I'm using in this video down in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm at the interface here, and I'm going to log in. And it says a firmware update is available. So the system's been up for almost a month and it's recommending I restart the NAS. But I'm gonna cancel through this. I'm gonna actually go through the interface on how to do this. So I'll close all these other windows. So you want to go into your control panel. And then if you look under system here, you'll see firmware update. We'll click on that. And then you can see it says the model number, the current firmware version, the date, the system uptime. So we have 27 days. And it says status of new firmware version is available. Click check for update to update. And then we have this little checkbox here. It says automatically check if newer version is available when logging into the NAS. So that's probably a good idea. That's why we had that message. It says join the QTS beta program to receive beta update notifications. If you want a really stable system, you should probably not use that. And it says you can also check the QNAP download center for any firmware utility updates. So I'll click check for update. And here we have the same screen we saw before, so I'll hit restart NAS. This will take a few minutes, so I'll probably skip the video ahead. It says, are you sure you want to restart the server? And I have nothing connected, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so that dropped us back at the login screen. I'll log back in. So again, we have the firmware update note, but I showed you before how to get to it from the system, so we'll just click on this now. So it has the release notes here, so you could scroll down through this and read through what's changing on the system. I'll hit continue. And now it's doing the firmware update. Okay, the update has been completed, so now it's going to restart the system. I'll click OK. Okay, it's rebooted. So I'll log back in. So here are some more release notes. You can read through these. I'll close that down. So since we updated the firmware, there's some apps that now are out of date. So we can go to the App Center. I'll close this and we'll go in directly. We'll close all these other screens. So we'll click on the App Center now. And then it will show the apps that need to be updated. So the QSync app was mandatory and the other ones weren't. But we can click All here. And then I'll hit OK. And now it will update all of these apps. Okay, so the apps are done updating, so I'll close this. I'll go back into our control panel. I'll click on firmware update, and then I'll click check for update again, and it says the firmware is up to date. So I'm not completely sure. There might be a situation where if you're really far behind it, we'll do one update at a time. But in this situation, we're up to date now. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.